Whenever you deal with electricity, there's always a risk that something will go wrong. One of the most common problems are sudden increases in current, which we call surges. These can happen either when something changes in the circuit, like when you turn an appliance on or off, or because of a fault in the circuit or appliance. As well as damaging the actual appliance, surges can sometimes be more serious, causing fires or electric shocks. So in today's video, we're going to look at some of these safety precautions that we've developed to help us reduce these risks, including fuses, circuit breakers, earth wires, and double insulation. Fuses and circuit breakers both act in a pretty similar way, namely by breaking the circuit whenever a current gets too high. A fuse is basically a very thin piece of wire that's connected to the live wire. If there's a surge, a huge amount of current will flow through the live wire, and hence flow through the fuse. This causes the wire of the fuse to heat up really quickly, and because it's so thin, it will melt, which then breaks the circuit, meaning that no more current can flow through it. Just be aware that in real life, fuses actually come in little cases like this, with the thin wire inside the casing. We get fuses in a range of different ratings, depending on what current you want to break the circuit. For example, if you have an appliance that normally has a 3 amp current flowing through it, then you could use a 5 amp fuse, so that it only breaks when there's a surge that makes the current rise above 5 amps. On the other hand, if you had a 10 amp appliance, you might use this 13 amp fuse instead. Basically, the fuse always wants to be a couple of amps above the rating of your appliance. The benefit of fuses is that they're simple and cheap, which is why we find them in lots of individual appliances. The downside, though, is that they're permanently broken after a single surge, which means that they have to be replaced each time. Circuit breakers, in contrast, don't have these problems. They work in a similar way to fuses, in that they break the circuit whenever there's a surge. However, they don't get permanently damaged. They just get tripped and turn off the circuit. This means that they can easily be reset rather than having to be replaced. The only downside is that they're a bit more expensive than fuses. One of the main ways that surges can cause harm is that if the live wire comes loose inside an appliance, it can touch the casing. And this means that if a person touched the casing anywhere on the appliance, they get a big electric shock. One way to prevent this is by earthing, which is where an earth wire provides an alternative pathway for the current to flow away, so that any electricity is diverted through the earth wire rather than coming through us. Another way to prevent electric shocks is to double insulate an appliance. This is where the entire appliance is covered in a plastic casing so that there's no exposed metal parts that we can touch. And as plastic doesn't conduct electricity, we can't get an electric shock from touching it. In general, if an appliance has double insulation, then it won't need an earth wire. So it will just have a live and a neutral wire. Anyway, that's everything for this video, so hope you found it useful, and we'll see you next time.